Hey, what's up? It's Frank here from datadriven.tv, the podcast where we explore the emerging fields of data science, machine learning, and artificial intelligence. So I'm on vacation this week in the mountains of North Carolina, western North Carolina. And um, you can tell I got a bit of a scruff on the beard if you're watching the video. Um, but one of the things that you do here, or one of the things you can do here, is gem mining. And basically, uh, it's something my older son's really into, and now this year my younger son's really into it as well. And he is, uh, so basically how it is, you go to a place and you buy a big bucket of dirt, basically, that's filled with rocks and things like that. Now, depending on the place, they just... Um, uh, the place I was just at, um, they, they kind of explained the process. So the process is that they buy dirt uh, by the pound, and they just basically shovel it and dump it in different size buckets. And this is what you do. You take the bucket, and the duck bucket is mostly dirt or sand, um, and inside of there, there are uh, semi-precious stones. So opals, um, rubies, emeralds, that sort of thing, quartz, um, uh, amethysts, stuff like that. So what you do is you, you, you shovel the sand or dirt into these um, sifting things and you wash them through like these flumes they have going and what comes out is most of the dirt washes away and what comes out you get these big rocks that um, that are kind of gemstones and but that's not it. So if you want to have, so you, you can kind of take them out and they're, they're, they're pretty looking rocks on their own but if you really want to get kind of jewelry quality uh, gems, you have to give it to the, I guess they're gemologists, um, and um, they, 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 they look at them, they, they take a close look with the flashlights and stuff, and then what they'll do is they'll, grind, they'll polish and grind them down into jewelry. Now, as we're doing this, I can't help but see the analogies here to data science and, uh, and, and to a certain extent, AI. You know, you start off with massive amounts of data, then you basically sift through the dirt if you will, you sift out the dirt, and you find these nuggets, right? Interesting data points. And then if you really want to go further into it, you come up with an algorithm that is, well, predictive or prescriptive, you know, whatever the your, your goal is. And then, so, the, you know, there's two kind of processes here, right? There's the dirt, getting the dirt away, finding the nuggets, and then taking those nuggets and polishing them to the point where they're jewelry grade. And I think that... Um, the, the, the analogy is perfect there. It's, in some ways, it's even better than data is the new oil, right? Because it, it's it, you know, working through that data is dirty, and you know, you, there's a stuff that um, uh, some of the stuff they get is from Morocco, and especially geodes. And if you don't know what geodes are, geodes are basically rocks with kind of um, shiny jewels and gems inside them. And you've seen them probably. I'll put a picture in the show notes. Um, you know, these things are just covered in this slimy mud. It's dirty work. You know, data mining or gem mining is dirty work. Uh, so is data mining. And, um, you know, the work of polishing it into a nice, finely crafted algorithm or gem, if you will, requires skill, patience, skill. And it's just, it's just for me, even though I'm on vacation, I'm always thinking data. Look at my shirt. I have my data is beautiful t-shirt. Um, it just fascinates me that the, 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 the process is the same in, very, in a very real sense. So with that, you have a good day.